In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a selection of products from Duke Cannon that we've been testing for over a month now. We're gonna start with the Duke Cannon antiperspirant and deodorant here, which has a sandalwood and amber scent, which um, we really quite like the smell of, and they do a, a few different other scents available on their website as well. And this one here we've been using for a month, every single day. Um, you can see it gets a little bit messy around the top that we're not huge fans of, but all in all, um, it looks used and that's fine because we have been using it every day. Um, it's a roll-on stick deodorant. You can see there's this much left after just over a month of solid use, which isn't a great amount, but all in all, not too bad. And then we'll roll that down. And in comparison, we'll show you a brand new one that we haven't used. We'll just pop that lid back on. All in all, very secure for travel and also a perfect size for travel. Um, and it's gonna give you over a month of use, which is great. It's got a little lid here, so you know it hasn't been used before. And this is a brand new one here that we will be using after this one's finished. And there we go. That rolls all the way to the top and we'll just pop it back down there. So that's the antiperspirant and deodorant. It's charcoal enriched to provide superior sweat and odor defense. And in testing, we found it to be a pretty solid antiperspirant and deodorant roll-on stick. So we pop that one away there and move on to the working man's face wash. Some of you won't use face wash. Um, a lot of people do, and this is quite an easy product. Again, this one's travel sized, so great for when you're flying. You can take this as a carry-on, and all you do is you wet your face a little bit, kind of squeeze a little bit of this out, and then apply onto your face and rub it in, and it will give your face a really solid wash. It's got vitamin C to fight fatigue and scurvy. It smells like productivity, <laughs> apparently. It does smell good, we can't deny that. And it's got menthol to energize. And also with Duke Cannon, a portion of proceeds benefits US veteran, and it's all made in the USA as well, which is really great. And there we go, this is a nice, simple product. Um, it's also got jojoba for outer layer protection. When we've applied it, we have found it gives our face a really good refresh and also gets all of the dirt off really quickly and easily. So not everyone's gonna travel with this, but if you're looking for a travel-sized face wash, this one is pretty good. Moving on, we have the travel-sized News Anchor Hair Wash, and this is a two-in-one, so it's got shampoo and conditioner. Now, as ever, a shampoo and a conditioner is never gonna be good as a shampoo and a conditioner, so two different separate, as opposed to one that's combined together, but a lot of companies do make them, and we've been using this every single day. We've actually got a fair amount left, um, so you can use this for a fair while, even though the bottle is pretty small. The cap pop op pops open like that, and you kind of squeeze it out. So it's easy to use. It's a tea tree formula, and it's apparently for news anchor thick hair. <laughs> so if you like that look, then go for it. All in all, quite a versatile two-in-one. When you need to wash your hair, this is a pretty good product and a perfect size for travel as well. It is liquid, unlike Everything else here, so it will count towards your liquid allowance. See, this one's liquid as well. Um, but these are all solid toiletries. We've got the stick there, the soap later on, and the cologne that we'll talk about at the end. Um, but there we go. That is the News Anchor Hair Wash, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner that will pop down there. Next up, we have the News Anchor again. They seem to have a running theme here with their toiletries. Um, quick Fix Dry Shampoo. Now, this is when you can't maybe get to a shower or you've just been on a really long bus ride, you need to wash your hair quick. This one is a perfect size for travel. It does work um, with short hair and we've also used it with long hair and it works just as well, which is really good. Um, and this is the surefire way to refresh your hair when time isn't on your side. And that's very true. You just shake and spray, kind of give your hair a little brush if you can, and it will do the trick pretty well. Um, we've used a few different dry shampoos in our time, and this one works as good as most of them. We were quite impressed um, in our testing at how well it worked. Obviously, it's never gonna be as good as when you do, you know, use this properly and give your hair a real wash, but when you're in a bit of a situation and you need to get it done, this one will do the trick. Again, a great size, and we've used it a fair few times. It still feels pretty full, so not too bad there. Moving on, 
we're going to go to this offensively large lip balm. Um, and it's actually called the offensively large lip balm as well. Repair and defend SPF 15. So it is um, a sunscreen as well for your lips. And we'll open it up here. You can kind of see the size of it. It is huge or huge for a lip balm anyway. And there we go. We haven't used this an awful amount, but it will last a pretty long time. As you can see if I'm just bringing it out here and we'll roll that back in. Um, it could be too big. Um, it's definitely for men, this one, and as all of the Duke Cannon products are, obviously, but if you're a woman, you can use the products as well, but the marketing definitely isn't geared towards you. This one could be considered a little bit too large to put on, but it's going to last a long time. It kind of goes all over your face a little bit if you're not careful, um, but all in all, we've kind of enjoyed this product. It's not the best size for travel, but because it is just a lip balm, you can get away with it if you do like it. Um, but we do like that it's sunscreen protective as well. But there we go. That was the lip balm. Now, moving on to the soap on a rope. We've got one here that we've used nearly every day for a month now. Still going. It has worn down a little bit more than we thought it would. But it's still going strong and possibly, or positively, sorry, um, the rope is still attached. Um, obviously, with products with this, you're scared that the rope is either going to come off or just work its way out but this one has stayed on and we'll show you what a brand new one looks like here which we've got and it's actually made with beer which is the old milwaukee american lager it doesn't smell like beer it's just made of it. it actually smells like a woodsy sandalwood and we really like the smell so this is a brand new one here we'll take this out and you can see just how quickly it's been worn down um, a little bit quicker than we thought, um, but we've got a solid kind of month, five weeks. There's still a few weeks left in this one easily. We'll pop this one back in, but it is huge. This definitely isn't travel friendly, but we've had it kind of hang, hung up at our, um, in our bath at home or a shower at home, and it's worked really well. We'll just do that one up there. Um, this one, you just love the name of this product. Um, it's really like we're, we're digging their marketing um, copy overall. And yeah, it's a good smell, works really well just as a soap really. Now, if you're gonna travel and you like the smell and also the fact that it's made with beer, which is kind of cool, then they do do a smaller junior size here, which we can show you. They also do a ton of different scents with their soaps. Um, and this is the kind of travel size here, which is a nice little size to travel with. And this one will last a pretty long time. It doesn't have that rope, which we do really like. Maybe they could put one of the ropes on the smaller size. That might be a nice little thing. But there we go. There is the big soap on the rope and also the junior version there. So we'll pop that back. And finally, we have something that we're really fans of here at Pat Kaka is solid cologne. Solid toiletries in general, great and we're always on the lookout for new and interesting products and this one here is a solid cologne now for travel specifically we would like a smaller size as solid cologne can last forever we've used this for a month and there's still like probably over 80 percent left um, but as a solid cologne it smells great we weren't huge fans when we first smelled it but the way when you apply it onto your skin it kind of blends um, and it does smell pretty good they do a few different a few different scents to this one. We've got the Redwood scent, um, which we have been a fan of. Um, it's concentrated cologne balm, and you just put, pop your finger, rub it in, and then kind of pop it around your neck and any other places you may want to. Again, here's a brand new one that we haven't used, and you can see the one that we've used for a month almost looks the exact same. So we would like a smaller version, kind of like one that's half the size, but that being said, considering it's cologne, that's probably going to last the entire length of your trip as long as you're not going away for, you know, a year or two years. The size is, is pretty good. So there we have it, all of the Duke Cannon products that we've been testing for over a month. Make sure to head over and check out each product page for additional notes. And also at the time of this video, we have a promo code running with Duke Cannon. So sign up for our newsletter, get access to the deals vault and see if you can pick some of this stuff up for a little bit of money off. So thanks for watching. We've been Pat Hacker. We'll see you in the next one.